Hello everyone. We'll keep getting more snow. So it's the first part of January and I just plowed our driveway last night and we got another three or four inches today. So I just got home from work and I need to go feed my cows. You can see them all down there by the, the gate. I figured today would be kind of a good day to show you guys how I feed silage bales or baleage. There's a couple words for it. So as you can see, we're still fighting with these elk. They're still coming in here about every night and getting into our hay. So if you look here, you can see their trail. They're just hopping up and over that electric fence and then coming in here to our haystacks and ripping open all our silage bags. Like I said, down that side, down the other side there. They're just coming up to these dry bales and just eating the fronts of them. Then they're going down the rows, and eating along the sides. This bale here, half eaten on the side here, and this bale up here. They've about got this one eaten, so I can't hardly grab it with the tractor. It's been a big pain in the butt. So this row here is some of our silage bales, or baleage, right next to these dry bales here. So we'll just stab this bale and be on our way, take a dry bale with us out to the cows. So I'll show you guys real quick how I load up these dry round bales. As you can see behind me, I've only got a, I've only got a bucket on the front of this Deutz tractor. I don't have any grapples on right now. I don't, I'm not using that grapple fork in the winter because I need that bucket to push snow with. And I've got my silage bale there on the back. So what I've done, so I can keep this bucket on and push snow with it, is I've pushed up this little snow ramp here. Then I come in with the bucket and kind of scoop up this round bale and tip it back into that bucket. And that's how I've been loading these uh, dry round bales up. They're getting kind of hard to do because like I said, this elk, these elk have been really messing up our bales. As it, and I'll show you on this side. See how this top outer layer has sloughed off? And then this one's not too bad. This one's actually in pretty good shape. On some of those other ones, this whole section here is like sucked off. So I've got a big old clump of hay here and trying to scoop up along with that bale. So it's just been a pain in the butt. So I'll see if I can scoop this one up and go feed the cows. Well, that one kind of fought me a little bit, but we got it. Cows are ready to be fed today. Got a pretty good little snow cap on top of that dry bale. Kind of shows you about how much snow we've been getting around here. Probably a couple feet on the ground, I'd guess. Here's a look at one of our fence lines, just to kind of give you a, um, a measurement off of. So then bottom two wires are pretty much buried. So it's only them top three that are showing.
so sorry guys but my camera died the other day so all these previous clips are from a couple days before now so we're just trying to do this again today it's a little bit warmer so i just finished unrolling this dry round bale so as you can see i unrolled it all along there and i just hand unrolled it from here to there so these dry bales are easy enough to unroll usually i can just get in behind them with the tractor in the bucket and just kind of push it forward and it unrolls itself pretty much and then I just unroll the last little bit by hand. But these silage bales, a little bit different story. So they're bailed up a lot wetter, so they don't like to really unroll like these dry ones do. So I'll show you how I spread these out for these cows, not just leave it in one big heap. So yesterday I moved over to a different feed ground. I'm sure you guys can see there's a bunch of deep snow out here. So I'm just trying to make feed lines as I unroll this hay, and hopefully the cows will help me pack down all this snow then we'll get ourselves a nice little hard feed ground here before too long, hopefully. But it's getting pretty deep. If these cows are out here in this fresh stuff, it'd be about touching their bellies. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the tractor over to this fresh stuff over here. And we're going to make another feed line just on the other side of this other one here and go that way with it. So the first thing I do is just come along and cut all this, this twine off of it. So if you guys don't know what silage hay is, or it's also called baleage when it's in bales like this, it's pretty much just fermented alfalfa. And uh, if you're curious on how we make this, I'll put a link in the description for a video I did, I think last year on how we make these, this, these silage bales. And I'll also put a link at the end of this video where you can just click on it and go straight to that video if you want. I wish you guys could smell it. It smells real sweet and fermented. It has a really good smell to it. And the cows, the cows love it. I'm sure you'll see as I start feeding this hay or this, this silage, these cows here eating all this dry hay, they'll probably start peeling off and just follow the tractor because they like the silage a lot more than like the, the dry hay. So let's feed some silage. So how I do this by myself is I use my poor man's GPS guidance system right here. Good old bungee cord and then that throttle lever right on the tractor there, right over Piper's head. I'll show you how I get this tractor to drive itself. So I put the tractor into low, low range. Then in just, I think it's in fifth gear, low, low range, but it'll just creep along. I'll show you. We're at about 1500 RPMs. The tire's barely moving. And I'll set the throttle right here. And then I use this bungee cord and I bungee the steering wheel back to the back of this seat so it can't veer this way and that. So just like that, so I set the, the throttle and that bungee cord's holding that steering wheel. So hopefully that tractor will just go straight ahead. And I'll stay back here with a hammer and I'll start clawing and peeling this silage bale apart. And it'll peel apart just about like an onion. It'll start flaking off this way and that way. So I'll show you how I do it. Pretty good workout so that's how i do that i know there's easier ways to do it but what's the saying a poor man has poor man ways and that's my poor man way there i mean it works pretty good so i did three passes so this is silage over here 
and like I said, this is all silage on here. And this last little bit here is silage also. And as you can see, all these cows have come from that dry hay and are eating this silage because they just love it. So if you look over here across the backs of these cows, that's where I fed the dry hay. And so there's maybe one, two, three, four stragglers over there eating the dry hay. And the rest of the herd's over here eating all the silage. So I just thought it'd be kind of fun to show you guys that and how I feed the silage bales by hand. So once I get down to the core here like this, I can't really go much further because these spears are inside here. And when I use that hammer, I'm just hitting spears and it's getting hung up on these uh, these bottom two small ones. So I'll just dump this uh, core somewhere and then the cows can come eat it. And they'll, they'll have this eaten up within two or three hours and there won't be a stem left. So I'm not too worried about them wasting any of it. So thanks for watching the video and I hope you enjoyed it. Have a good day. Talk to y'all later.